Hello everyone. This is Assistant Professor Dharam Unarkat welcomes you all to the subject Effective Technical Communication. Moving with our last module that is module number 2nd Technical Writing. In the previous video we have completed our module number 6 that is Self Development and Assessment. Today we are going to start with a new module Technical Writing. Why it is important? Now, when you start working in an organization, after your, after your engineering, when you go in the organization, you will have to communicate many things through the written communication only. In the organization, now no oral communication is valid. Though, sometimes oral communication may be faster as we know and easier, but written communication is preferred for the particular cases when you cannot do any and just the oral communication. When the information is large and complicated and if the disgrammatical or the graphical representation is required for the explanation, then you have to do the written communication. Also, it serves a permanent record. Why written communication is important? Because it serves as a permanent record. It is, it serves this best quality. Also, it is the proof, future reference, which helps in decision making and problem solving. It sometimes acts as a legal document also. Hence, the written communication must be done with utmost care. Business letters, you can also see the technical reports, technical proposals, emails. It is also one type of technical writing, emails. Yes, notices, circulars, text messages, corporate blogs, brochures and many more are example of the written communication. Every written communication has the specific purpose. Now we are seeing that one by one, the business letter, the technical reports, proposal, description, everyone have their specific purpose, content, different contents needs a different type of the writing and the audience. Hence, a particular technique of writing and a specific format must be used. For the technical writing, there must be a specific format used. In order to have the effective writing, we will have the further topic. Why we are using this? What are the different contents that is written in the writing? So this is the brief about the technical writing. Why we are going to learn about this module? Now let's first understand which, which, which are the topics we will cover in this module. The first is the introduction part. What is the effect, uh, technical writing and how you can make it effective that we will see in the introduction part. Next is the report writing, second comes the technical proposal, then we will see the technical description, this is the proposal, what is that means, what is technical description, we will also learn the format of the different ones, also the business letter and the types of letter we will learn in the topic number 5th, 6th is the agenda and the minutes of meeting, why there is a meeting why the meeting is arranged that we will learn in the topic number six and last is the resume writing most important as after your engineering you have to move or after your education you have to move in the organization but between that you have to give the interview for that you have to submit the resume so we will learn how the you have to write the resume writing so these are the total seven topics that we will cover in the module number two let's start with the first topic that is introduction as we have discussed, yes, the introduction part, what is technical writing? As we have discussed, it is very much important because it serves as a proof. It is the evidence which is written. How you can make it effective? The tool of writing, the effective technical communication. So for that, you have to take care of the five C's. Five C's of the written communication it is known as, which are five First is the clarity to write any technical writing. It must be effective as our motto is that we will write it effective. For that you have to take care of the 5C. First is the clarity. Clarity means the you have to clarify. You have clarity in your mind what you have to deliver through report or description anything. So there is a clarity. Plan and organize the information. Also you have the use topics and subtopics at relevant places in the writing you have to write topics there subtopics but you have to write it at the relevant places use a clear layout identifications and the visuals like diagrams or graphs whenever applicable as a clear message is more likely to evoke 
a positive response in the receiver. Also maintain the logical linking of connected through and use the words to maintain the coherence. You have to clear in your mind that the writing must be coherence. It must be connected with one thought to the another. Also use the simple language in the writing and words that the reader can understand as the familiar word. So all that you have to keep in mind. You have to clarify in your mind. Also technical terms and business jargons. Jargons means the hard words must be used only in the technical reports. That means if the reporter or the reader is of the same field of yours, then you can use the jargon language so that he or she is easily able to understand. Otherwise, you don't have to use the jargon language in the technical writing. So first is the clarity, first C. Second C is the completeness. Complete message brings about the desired result without any more clarity classification so it must be a there must be a desired result in the technical writing all points and the explanation must be sufficiently detailed to avoid the misunderstanding sometimes you write it right uh, you write some report or you may say proposal description but then there is no end and the reader must have some uh, some misunderstanding so to remove it you have to complete the report consider whether the reader has the knowledge about the topic or not as it shows the concern of the others. So there must be a completeness in the report writing or the technical writing. Third is the consciousness. Use as few as 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 few words as possible and contract small sentences. You have to write as small as technical writing. So it must be more conscious and the reader can easily get what you are saying. It helps in highlighting an important ideas by eliminating unnecessary words and save time. Remove irrelevant and unimportant information. It makes easier for the reader by not clustering with too much of information and unnecessary words. For example, use definite words instead of the ambitious ex expression. How you can say that? We are writing instead of almost all. We are writing almost all. But, but uh, along with accept it, we can also write 100%. Almost all means 100%. So use 100% so that the reader can get easily what you are trying to say. Use active voice rather than the passive voice. So you have to be conscious and as short as possible. Fourth, C is consistency. Be consistent in form and style. It means you must be uniform in using the margins, identification, capitals, abbreviations. Also the table, table format must be consistent throughout the report. Numbering of the pages. Sometimes the page number is at the center. In the next page it is at the left corner. So it, there must be a consistency in the page number. Also list, listing etc. This helps the document look pleasing to the reader and provide ease in reading. Each section must be consistent with other part of the document. It looks well connected and message flow smoothly from one paragraph to the another. So there must be a consistency throughout the report. Either it must be a one page of the technical writing, either 10 pages or the 100 pages, but the consistency must be maintained. And the last C is correctness. The correctness of the information must be verified before sending the communication as it makes the receiver feel easy. Careful selection of the words with the correct grammar, spelling, also the punctuations must be used at as creates a favorable impression in the mind of the receiver or the mind of the reader. There must be a correct statement before. If you are not sure, you must be verified with your friend, with your colleague or the higher authority. So these are the five C most important C you can say which you have to keep in mind while writing any technical writing and if you make it effective. So this is all about the introduction part. The next is the report writing. You have heard the name report. The word report is the derived from the Latin and it is known as to bring back. As we have known the report means it is the written form technical writing which is has already done with the activity the scenario which has already taken place and that we have to write it is known as the report over a period of time it has evolved 
to mean that the gathered information is unbiased and evidence based report are the part of our lives nowadays there is a use of report everywhere starting from the school progress report through the news report on the televisions and the radios to the many kinds of the reports we are required to submit in the course of our work but what is report as uh, discussed a report is usually a piece of factual writing based on evidence containing organized information and analysis of a particular topic it is the major form of technical business or the professional communication a person transmits a certain facts ideas or the suggestion useful for another person through a report it can also be a description of an event or a condition that taken place as we have discussed any events any conditions which have taken place you have to write in a report so it is the latin word which is known as to bring back also a report is the only tangential product of the professionals all the efforts of the engineers academicians and the researchers culminate in the report that convey to other the efficiency which they carried out with their assess assessment as you also know after your the project any design engineer product project or the final year project at the end of the your project technical project you have to write a report that means your progress of the work where your conclusion of the work to that you have to write a report so there are many benefits of the rep report and it is nowadays very important the objective of the technical report why we are using why there is a need to learn the technical report to provide an account of the progress of some work or the project as we have discussed there are many works which are on process and you have to submit it to your higher authority for that you have to write a report to that that here our work has reached and we are moving further with such scenario also to give a record of some facts observed through the scientific experiments or based on research done to record and act as a proof of efforts made by the employees towards the goal to document policies to be followed in the future to record and present the progress of the organization within and outside the acting guidance for making the many decisions you have to write something to your organization also to the out other organization for that you have to write the report to give a direction for the further actions and decision making if you are at the higher hierarchy level you are at the manager post and the engineer post you have to give the direction to the employees for that you have to write the report if you are not in the direct or oral communication you have to write the report that you have to move this way you have to move this way for the progress so for that you have to give the direction with the help of report to analyze the situation and recommend actions to solve the various organizational problem so this are some objectives why we are learning the technical reports and last the, there are also the characteristics of the technical re report total nine characteristics sub characteristics first is the audience so while writing a report one must always keep in mind the audience and the readers in the mind it is very much important we are discussing many times this that you must know your leaders so that you can add such contact that they grasp easily correctness each data presented must be correct as the report is the writing of the factuals it is what happened earlier so you have to write the with the correct data completeness the report must contain all the information relevant to the topic and enough to solve the objective consciousness important concept must be highlighted avoiding unnecessary words and topics which are not relevant to the objective of the report you have to remove that clarity as we have discussed clear message with ambitious sentence helps the reader to understand the topic easily so with if you are clear with the ideas your reader must be clear to grasp six is the documentations proper documentation by acknowledging the source of information provides more value to the report factuals every information presented in the report must be based on the facts and not imagination or the assumptions format a specific format needs to be followed to give a neat and clean look at the report and ease to read 
Ninth is the illustrations. The facts presented in the report must be backed by tables, graphs, drawing, maps, etc. So these are the nine topics or you may say the characteristic that you have to follow while writing a technical report. So this is all about the technical report as it is a word that comes from the Latin and which is known as to bring back. Today we have covered the two topics, the introduction part to write your technical writing effectively you have to clear with the 5c and next we have covered the technical report next topic we will move with the in the next video thank you